Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So for the channeled message reading, it does not matter what your zodiac sign is. Absolutely anyone may resonate with this message. I just ask that you use discernment, take what resonates, leave with what does not. Also remember that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody, okay? Let's see what's going on here because we have the five of cups that fell out. Next, we have the two of pentacles, okay? Let's see here. Tell us more. Judgment. Okay. Then you have the Knight of Cups. Hmm. Tell us more about this message. What's going on here? Tell us more about this message. Eight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. This is someone who's, like, regretful. This person... They are so sad. Um, that's why I was like, what's going on? Um, someone is very upset with themselves for, for disappointing you. They, they see the life that they could have had with you. Yeah. The Five of Cups, this is regret. It's crying over spilled milk. They're very disappointed in themselves. Um, this person feels like their entire life would have been different. Like the outcome of their life would have been completely different, much better if they would have chosen you. Whoever they chose, and they did juggle you, okay? Um, whoever they chose over you just ruined this person's life, right? But people can only do what you allow them to do. It was their choice. And the person who they chose, it's like this person went down a bad path, Okay, they had two people to choose between, and the one who they chose was, in a way, um, very negative. Okay, they could have been very tempting, there was a lot of temptation, there was a lot of lust, um, and they were negatively influenced by that person. Okay, and I feel like that person represented bad karma, but this per this individual at the time was very low vibrational. So they chose the they they chose the lover who they resonated with the most. Okay, um, it's like good and bad, and they chose they chose bad. Okay, because at the time they were resonating with that. Okay, they were very low vibrational. So like attracts like. Okay, it's very hard to find a low vibrational person attracting a high vibrational individual. Okay, um, and I feel like you ended up choosing this person because you were, you know, you were at a bad place in your life where you didn't, you didn't know your worth. You were naive, and we're all naive at a certain point, you know, at a certain time in life, and we learn, and that's what makes us not naive, right? When we learn from our mistakes and we become wise, we become wiser. And uh, it just, there was no way that you can have a low vibrational person um, with a high vibrational um, individual. So this person chose who they deserved, a low vibrational partner who's just like them, like attracts like. And they took a really bad path and they're saying that this person has ruined their life, but really they ruined their own life through the decisions that they made. There's a lot of embarrassment and humiliation that's going on with this person. I wouldn't encourage you to even try to reach out to them or to go spying and lurking on them. I wouldn't because you would just get caught up in their drama and it's not healthy for you. Even if you're not there with this person physically, you don't need to be energetically connecting to them, whether it's through social media or asking people about them. I see a lot of drama and chaos. Um, there's just, man, this, person, this person's life, they ruined their life. They really did. Time and time again, the universe was bringing in healthy soulmates for this person um, in order for healthy soulmates to positively influence them to change their life. But they kept on choosing negative soulmates, right? They had a choice. 
um, and they kept on making bad decisions. It really had nothing to do with you, but you also had to learn to stop settling, right? To stop letting people take advantage of you um, and to stop choosing people who were less than what you deserve. You learned self-worth um, and self-respect from this person and they continue their bad ways. Um, but they can't say that they didn't know any better. They can't say that, that they didn't have a choice because they did and now they see it. Judgment is here. You know, uh, everything's out in the open, okay? Your perspective has completely changed about this. When you think of this person, you're probably like, yeah, that's someone from years ago, Dream, you know? And I'm not where I was back then and I'm not interested. Your preference has changed. Um, and this person can see that a lot of the mistakes that were made were their fault, okay? It was their fault. And that's what the judgment is saying. It's like, wow, they're having this major realization that took them so long to have. Um, this person is devastated. This person has probably even been crying. There's a lot of worrying and sorrow. Um, and they've been feeling this way for a long time now. Lots of regret that really makes them sick to the stomach. They would like to apologize they really would. They would like to extend their cup of love and try to make things right. But I'm even hearing that there's physical distance between the two of you. This person believes that if they would have chosen the path with you, their life would have been a million times better. Um, th they would have gotten the 10 of pentacles. So you could be someone who is very successful. You have that security and stability in your life. Um, you are a very reliable person, independent. You may even be someone who is like highly successful, right? Uh, because the 10 of pentacles could represent generational wealth, business empires, you know, lump sums of money. What I'm trying to say is you're living a very good life, an ideal life that many all to, you know, many to all people want, right? And they feel like they could have been a part of that if they would have chosen you, right? It's like in the past, they didn't really see they didn't see, they didn't know that the outcome of your life would be the 10 of pentacles. And it's for a reason, because if they would have seen it, they would have chosen you. It's like, they didn't see what the future would hold for you. Okay. But now they see that what the future held for you was a 10 of pentacles, right? A very secure life that they could have been a part of. There's been lots of talk about you, whether you know it or not, but it's positive talk about how well you're doing in life. Like the community that you come from, they speak very highly of you and your success and accomplishments. So, uh, you know, these are conversations people do. You are the topic of conversation and it's because of your accomplishments. It's because of your progression and elevation in life. So when they hear how successful you are, there's so much regret because they're like, man, my the outcome of my life would have been so different if I would have chosen you. They're here as a king of cups, very emotional, but they're understanding what they did that was wrong. They see the bigger picture. This is someone who there was clearly a romantic love between the two of you, but not anymore, okay? Um, wow. Yeah, this person in their own personal life, they're going through major endings. Yeah, they're trying to strength, overcoming difficulties. I also feel like this person could have been with a long-term partner. There was someone who they chose over you. And that's a good thing because you you didn't deserve, like this person didn't deserve you. You deserved more. So it's a good thing that they rejected you. It taught you self-worth um, and self-respect. But it's like this person did you a favor by not choosing you is what I'm trying to say. But I feel like um, this person has been in a long-term relationship that ended in a very devastating way. Yeah, the world card is, it's it's completion. They've completed a cycle with someone, a very toxic cycle, eight of cups walking away, yeah, from an investment. Yeah, because they stayed with that person for a long time. Let's see what happens. What happens here? The truth came out, ace of swords, major truths came out. Yeah, the sun, enlightenment, Things coming to light, yeah. Major truths came out about that relationship, that toxic relationship, because they themselves were toxic too. So they only attracted someone who was just like them. 
but you were the soulmate who was supposed who was meant to like positively influence them but they didn't want your positive influence right they chose the negative influ influence what happens here between these two people in that toxic relationship they were in a commitment for a long time i think i said that in the four of wands is a commitment card the three of wands is here these two thought that they would be together forever, actually, is what I'm getting with the Three of Wands. Um, they thought they would be together till the end. You have the Emperor that's here. Tell us about this here, Emperor. Ace of Wands, hmm. The Emperor could be a father or father figure. I wonder if they ended up having children. Oh, there were that was the goal between the two of them, death and the lovers, but it didn't happen. Mhm. Mm that was the goal. The two of them thought they would be together like forever. Um the emperor and the ace of wands. If it hadn't if it had not ended, th they would become a father. Ace of wands and the emperor, they would become a father. Um to that, that individual, that lover who they chose, but it ended, the death is a major ending. There was a separation. Um, because that's, that's who they chose to settle down with, justice. Um, let's see what happens here. Temperance. Tell us more. What happened between the two of them? This breakup here, Page of Swords. The Hermit. Someone someone found, there was a discovery. I don't know if someone saw something online. Um, ooh, what was that? Oh, the High Priestess and the Three of Cups and the Moon. Someone, this person had their lover or their ex-lover had a whole nother life, a whole nother lifestyle, should I say. Someone saw something. Page of Swords and the Hermit. Something was discovered online. Secrets. The High Priestess has secrets, mysteries. Three of Cups and the Moon. There was a, like, this person's lover um, was participating in some lifestyles here. Three of Cups, the Moon. But this is giving me... Their lover was into some was into in, into something like some sort of lifestyle here. Ten of Cups. This is someone who liked to. Okay, let me be careful with what I say, but this there's a lot of embarrassment. They're embarrassed. They're embarrassed. Everything is fine. It's one of those things where they just want to be quiet about what they found out. I feel like this person just wants to just not even talk about it and move on with their life. Because their person was into some sort of lifestyle here that's like, wow, um, a non-traditional lifestyle, if you know what I mean. Like, this is someone who liked to sleep with couples. Their lover liked that kind of stuff. They were sleeping with other people, like a man and woman in a relationship, and then they would come in as a third party and sleep with that man and woman. I don't, how do you call that? Um... Everything is fine, the star and the nine of wands. This person just wants to put it behind them. Seven of swords, right? They just, they wanna act like it didn't happen. Um, the star, the nine of wands. Ten of wands in the reverse, yeah. 
this person's trying to sweep it under the rug. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Separations. They want to sweep it under the rug. That's what they're doing. Yeah, and they just want to walk away from it. It's embarrassing. It's humiliating. They don't even know what to say. It's like a silent cry. Okay, and then you have the Empress that's here, though. Okay, which I wouldn't doubt could be you. Let me see. Tell us about this Empress. It is you. Hmm. Okay, what do they want? Like, what do you have to do with this? Because this is not your drama. For the Empress. Two of Wands, they're looking towards you. The Two of Wands is someone who's trying to get a sense of direction. Um, they could want to talk to you about it. Pages, pages are all about communication and news and messages. Um, they're thinking about you. Where you're at, what you have going on for yourself. They're thinking about you. Lots of regrets, lots of... <sighs> Let me see here. Lots of regrets. Ten of Swords. Man, this person. Um, I would be careful. Tell us about, tell us more about this here. Tell us more about this. Yeah, I, I, I feel like this person hurt you really bad. They caused drama in your life and they didn't want to take accountability for it. They backstabbed you. Look, five of wands, right? There was drama from other people outsiders but they didn't want to take accountability for it and i feel like that's what has happened to this person now they have a whole lot of drama and i don't feel like you should take accountability for their drama what is that the sun first of all i feel like you've healed from the backstabbing that they caused you you've healed from it you've transformed beautifully into the empress you're mature um and doing very well for yourself but i wouldn't get in with, I, I wouldn't be a part of this person's drama i absolutely wouldn't um what's going on in their life here nine of swords queen of swords Hmm. The magician. Lots of lies. That person that they were with, man, just can't like this person could have even been a pathological liar. Lots of lying. Lots of the problem is the the drama, there's lots of secrets, lots of exposing that's that's coming up about their person. Okay, their person is being exposed. And that's how they found out about that lifestyle that their person is a part of. So that's why they just want to be quiet and no longer affiliate with their person, right? So they're acting like they don't even know their person. Like, like they're trying to sweep it under the rug. Like, nope, I don't know this Queen of Swords. But they do know the Queen of Swords. They were with this Queen of Swords for a long time. But now this Queen of Swords is being exposed and there's a whole lot of secrets and it's embarrassing. So what this person, this King of Cups is doing is they're like trying to no longer affiliate with this Queen of Swords, but it doesn't work like that, right? Uh, because people clearly know that they were together. Um, so they can't just, this King of Cups has a way of escaping drama. And I feel like that's what they did to you. They betrayed you, they caused drama, and they just kind of snuck away, that seven of swords, snuck away as if they didn't know anything. That's what they're doing to this queen of swords. But I feel like the drama is too much to, to ignore. Um, the sun, everything's coming to light. The nine of swords is also here. Uh, I don't think they can escape this one. Yeah, Eight of Swords. They're surrounded. Everywhere they go, they're hearing about the drama pertaining to their person. So I don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to move away? 
the hangman, release and surrender. Yeah, they don't want they don't want to be affiliated to their person, but they are connected by association. Wow. Yeah. And let me see. Six of Cups, and you're over here. They're reminiscing about you, but you're over here minding your business. You're doing very well. Seven of Pentacles is someone who's very committed, hardworking, accomplishing your goals. Yeah, you're over here. The Ace of Pentacles. This is great. Ace of Pentacles is a blessing of prosperity. Yeah, you have your new beginning. Like you have, your future is bright. Right? You're not you're not connected to this drama. And that's probably why it took some time for karma to come in so that your name could could clear out. Right? It's been years since you saw this person. So they're not you're not you're not connected to this at all. Sometimes that tower won't fall until you're far away from it, so that when it falls, it won't even affect you. You're not connected to this at all. You're long gone from this situation. Long gone, two of swords. Long gone, two of swords, six of swords. Yeah, you're not connected to this. So let this person deal with their drama. What do they plan to do? They plan to come back after a long time. Okay. They plan to come back after a long, long time. Nine of Pentacles is a slow moving energy. But I feel like you should do this to them. Leave them out in the cold. Like, don't even respond. Don't even acknowledge it. This person comes with a lot of drama. They're trying to escape from, from drama, like what they did to you. Now they're trying to do it to this Queen of Swords. Yeah, Four of Cups is rejection, unfulfillment. You don't, you don't want their pentacle. You don't want them to be a part of your life. Because you're, like, the chariot, you're so far gone from this person. The chariot is someone who's very driven, successful, determined in life. Yeah, justice is what's happening in your life. You're getting that good justice, though, that good karma. You're progressing. You're elevating. And they cannot come where you're headed. They can't go where you're headed. Um, Queen of Wands is even here right? Confident, powerful, ambitious, energetic, optimistic. You're sitting victoriously on your throne with your legs crossed, right? You're living a good life. Let's see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards you? Yeah, this, this dummy here, this idiot is coming towards you. Yep, they're coming towards you and they expect you to have your cup open to them, like extended. They still remember you to be the queen of cups that you were, the kind, loving, empathetic individual who they took advantage of, but they have no clue that you're actually a queen of wands. You got your self-esteem back. You know your worth, you know your value, and you're very confident in yourself. Um, the seven of wands is here. I said what's coming towards you. Seven of wands is a stand your ground card. Okay, I feel like this person is bringing some drama towards you. Um, but I already told you what you should do. Okay, Page of Swords and King of Swords. I feel like you're not even, there's no attraction to this person. But they're coming towards you to try to talk to you. Yeah. Look at them, Knight of Wands, look at this. Knight of Wands, wait, wait. But you, you have someone, this past person, this loser here, I feel is the King of Swords who you're not interested in. That's the energy you've assigned to them. But you also have a King of Wands, Knight of Wands. Oh, I feel like this is someone who you have a crush on. I feel like, look, the devil, you're, you're like obsessing over this person. This is someone who you're actually interested in. Okay, let's continue this in the extended. Um, I want to keep this reading short and sweet. I'm going to upload two more, two more channeled messages. Um, 
if I have the time, but let's continue this one in the extended uh, because the question that was asked is what's coming towards you, okay? I feel like you have this idiot here from your past and then, but you have, there's a king of wands here that you really, really like. I see it, don't deny it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna talk about that in the extended, okay? Uh, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really hope that you enjoyed the message. The link to the extended is $3. It's going to be uh, in the description box. I also will pin it in the comment. If it's pinned, it'll be the very first comment that you see or you can simply click on the middle thumbnail on the screen and it'll take you directly to the extended, okay? Thank you guys so very much. Take care everyone and many blessings to you.